Hi all, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to cover the psychopathology of everyday things, human-centered design. So, let's get started. Imagine coming across a door like this, without any handles, knobs or visible hinges. How would you open this door? Slide it, push or pull? Certainly, we will have to do some trial and errors, right? But wouldn't it be easy if the door had a handle? or a push label indicating clear direction of use. These are the characteristics of good design. So, good designs have two main characteristics, discoverability and understanding. Discoverability answers the questions, what are the possible actions and where and how to perform them. Like here handle provides us the possible actions that are push and pull. And understanding helps us to answer the questions, how is the product supposed to be used? And what do all the different controls and settings mean? So, let us take an example. An AC remote has buttons. Buttons indicate discoverability that the buttons can be pressed in order to perform some functionality. And a user manual provides understanding on what the different buttons do. Now, let us understand the complexity of modern devices. All the artificial things are designed by humans. Design is concerned with how things work, how they are controlled and the nature of the interaction between people and technology. Machines usually follow simple but rigid rules of behavior and if as humans we get those rules right, then the machines perform as expected which results in a pleasurable human-machine interaction. However, poorly designed machines lack discoverability and understandability. Therefore, humans fail to understand these rules and do not perform them, resulting in undesirable results and frustration. Hence, it is the duty of the machines and those who design them to understand people and make them understand the rules of the machine. That's when human-centered design comes into picture. So, let us understand human-centered design. Human-centered design or HCD is an approach that puts human needs, capabilities and behavior first and then designs to accommodate those needs, capabilities and ways of behaving. Human-centered design is a design philosophy that applies across all stages of designing. HCD accommodates the fact that humans make errors. Hence, designers need to focus on the cases where things can go wrong. For example, when something goes wrong, the machine should highlight the problem, then the person understands the issue and takes proper action, and the problem is resolved. That's when human-machine interaction is the most useful. Thus, it is important for the designers to understand the psychology of the humans who interact with the machines and design the machines in a way that it makes it easier for the humans to interact with them and provide discoverability and understandability. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching the video and if you have any doubts, please do let us know in the comment section below. If you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to like and share the video with your friends and subscribe to Be The Best channel for more such videos. Meet you in the next video of the HMI series. Bye-bye.